welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the theory lectures based on tribology subject ab in unit number 5 is sub topic aerostatic step bearing so aerostatic step bearing again known as what the externally pressurized gas bearing so in this case we will see the working principles that are pure nomenclature then again the pressure distributions over the different areas again we will see what are the assumptions what is the volume flow rate that we have to see in this case so aerostatic again it is known as what externally pressurized now the internally that is externally pressurized gas bearing now figure showing here that is the step is provided for the bearing let inner and outer radius that is r1 and r2 r i and r o that is r i and r o means what the inner radius and outer radius okay that again we are having the aerostatic step bearing okay w be the weight which is acting on the bearing then again h0 be the minimum fill thickness okay so at the center we can say that at the radius r we are having the maximum pressure and it will be goes to less at the outer conditions so we can say that the at the inner the pressure is maximum at the outer radius we are having the very least pressure it exist then again pressure distributions will be showing at the below with the aerostatic step bearing at the inner radius it will be maximum at the outer radius it will be minimum and having pi is a input pressure at the aerostatic bearing let's see what is the working principle so in case of aerostatic step bearing that is extremely externally pressurized gas bearing similar to the hydrostatic step bearing while hydrostatic step bearing used the liquid as a lubricant which is a incompressible which is a incompressible the aerostatic step bearing use the air air as a air as a lubricant in incompressible the step bearing the air is as a lubricant while compressible the high pressure air film is created by the external source like the compressor then again high pressure air then again it is pressurized externally by supplying the the pressure between the two surfaces so this is working now this is the actual diagram which shows the nomenclature w is the thrust load in newton r o is the outer radius of the shaft r i is the radius of at radius p i is absolute inlet pressure of air p 0 is absolute outlet or atmospheric pressure of the air in newton per mm square okay once again w is the thrust load r o is the outer radius of shaft r i is inner radius p i is absolute inlet pressure p o is absolute outlet pressure q i is volume flow rate at the inlet q o is the volume flow rate at the outlet to the atmospheric pressure now the load carrying capacity before the load carrying capacity we will see the what are the assumptions 
Madam Singh sir, the analysis of aerostatic step bearing is based on the following assumptions. The rhythms, the recess in the shaft is a deep enough. The pressure in it to be constant. Means what at the recess? At the in deep, the the pressure is constant. The effect of velocity is neglected for the pressure development. If there is a velocity we are considering, it will be so complicated to find out the pressure distributions or the pressure development. So that the effect of velocity is neglected for the pressure de development. Now see the volume flow rate. It is not to derive the expressions for the load carrying capacity for the aerostatic stay bearing. It is first necessary to find out the pressure distributions along the RI and RO that is at the annular area between RI and RO that is inner radius and outer radius. So volume flow rate for the air through the finite slots will be find out by Q is equal to delta P BH cube upon 12 mu L where delta P is nothing but the what? Delta P is nothing but the what? The pressure difference B is the width of slot across the flow L be the length of slot in the direction of flow H be the thickness of the slot or the fluid film mu is absolute viscosity of the lubricant volume flow rate of air across that we will find out so delta P Q is equal to what? that volume flow rate of, of air through the finance load Q is equal to delta P BH cube upon 12 mu L delta P is equal to pressure difference B is the width of a slot across the flow L be the length of the slot in the direction of flow H be the thickness of slot of air mu is absolute viscosity of lubricant I consider the annular ring of the R and R I is less than the RO so width dr will be considered so at the last that is the load carrying capacity with the exact expressions for the load carrying capacity of aerostatic step bearing is complex beyond the scope of this book and that the expression for the load carrying capacity for a hydrostatic step bearing approximate estimate so aerostatic step bearing so we have to consider the hydrostatic step bearing again for the assumption purpose in order to calculate the load carrying capacity so we will get the approximate load carrying capacity of the aerostatic step bearing as like the hydrostatic step bearing that is W is equal to pi pi RO square minus RI square divided by 2 log E upon RO upon RI so this is the load carrying capacity so this is all about the aerostatic step bearing in this particular case we are seeing the working then again nomenclature then again assumptions then volume flow rate and at the last that is a the load carrying capacity